Followers of Star Citizen will well know the existence of Elite Dangerous, the game that at one point seemed to be a direct competitor to Star Citizen, trying to do very much the same thing. But over the years, they diverged to the point where they no longer seemed very much like competitors at all. That is, until recently, when a new update was announced. Hey guys, I'm Morphologist, and of course I'm talking about Elite Dangerous Odyssey. This is a really exciting new update because it's meant to put us on the ground and even in our ships, in a way that Star Citizen currently does. This is something that I was hoping Elite Dangerous was going to do way back in 2014 when I bought into the Kickstarter. Well, better late than never, right? So in this video, I'm going to bring you guys up to date on what's going on with Elite Dangerous and their new update Odyssey. Then, near the end, we'll talk about whether or not I think it's competitive with Star Citizen. And if by the end, you like this video and think I did a good job, make sure you remember to hit that like and subscribe button. If you've been following these developments, you may have already seen the trailer shown here on the screen, but what you may not have seen is something that was just released this week. That's their first developer blog that they'll be posting in the lead up to its release in 2021. In this update, we got our first peek at atmospheres on planets and improved terrain. And boy oh boy do these moons and planets look good. They look nearly as good as those we've seen in Star Citizen, and that's really saying something considering how much time, effort, and money CIG have poured into that tech. More importantly though, they talk to us about what we can expect to do once we get in our spacesuits and out onto the surface. Right now, Elite Dangerous already allows you to fly close to the surface of a moon and planet, and in fact, if you own Horizons, you can land a rover on them and go search around for, say, mineables or new discoveries that you can make some cash finding. Odyssey is going to expand on that and give you more things to do whilst in your spacesuit. They talked about having a handheld scanner that'll allow you to record bio samples and upload it into your codec, something that I'm sure will also allow you to earn some money. But I think the primary driving force for many people who currently play ED and will look forward to Odyssey are those people who want to claim to be the first to have discovered something new on some distant planet in some distant star system. And in case you didn't know, they are simulating the entire Milky Way galaxy, so there are literally billions of moons and planets to go discover. And if it wasn't obvious, you're going to be able to do this with your friends. It's already an online game where you can fly in squadrons. Heck, you can even own a fleet carrier, something that I want to eventually do a video on to show you guys what that looks like. Beyond these previews we've seen in this video, we've also gotten a sneak peek in their forums at what we may see in the future with Odyssey in terms of the social aspect of the game. Things like bars and merchants to visit, maybe even stalls that we can own ourselves, and yes, even bases we can visit on moon and planet surfaces. I also really hope that this is something that we may possibly be able to own ourselves. But what about its competitiveness with Star Citizen? If you like Star Citizen and what they're trying to do, will you like Elite Dangerous? Well, I think Odyssey really does open the door to that possibility. Currently, Elite Dangerous is really more for those of you who may more enjoy flying in your ship, doing space combat, space hauling, exploration, and maybe some ground exploration using rovers. And to that end, Elite Dangerous is actually very polished. There is a lot to do, a lot to discover, and incredible amounts of space to do it in. And, and that way, it's already pretty darn compelling and attractive for somebody who may be waiting for a Star Citizen to get to a more complete state. And I think it's this polished strength that will give Elite Dangerous the possibility to give CIG and Star Citizen a run for their money with the PU. You see, you hate it or love it, Elite Dangerous does currently have some pretty strong gameplay loops. Not all of them are very exciting, but with the advent of Odyssey and being able to get down onto Moon and Planet services, we may have a very similar set of gameplay loops that we have and want in Star Citizen, but in a more complete state. Elite Dangerous already has a robust economy, partially influenced by players. You can buy and sell things in different systems, and there are many, many systems to visit. This will support getting down onto a moon or planet surfaces and making discoveries or mining certain rare minerals. 
or even, as the trailer seems to suggest, hunting other players or NPCs in bounty hunting missions on foot. If all of this, including the social aspect of Odyssey, is able to be accomplished before release, I think Frontier will actually have a product that is holistic in a way that truly does compete with Star Citizen and attracts the same sort of crowd that that does. Of course, all of this still remains to be seen. We only really know that we'll be able to walk around and explore moon and planet services in ED. Will we see some concepts for those bars and bases and merchant shops that we saw in the concept art before release? And more importantly, for some who have a love for spaceships, will we be able to step inside our ships and do repairs like we want to do in Star Citizen? I think that if we find out that that indeed will be the case, it will even make more of a case for ED being a true competitor. I know some of you may be quite apprehensive about this idea, about Elite Dangerous, which formerly didn't seem very competitive with SC, suddenly becoming competitive. But I want to encourage you guys to think of it this way. If you like Star Citizen, then I think that you should want ED to be really good, because if it is actually competitive and does attract the same demographic, then Star Citizen and CIG will be more compelled to get out some of these gameplay loops much more quickly. Now, I'm not saying that CIG is holding anything back, rather I'm trying to make the point that human beings in general tend to be more productive with good competition. Wanting to be better than the other team is a huge motivator, and I think that SC really hasn't had that for some time. But being competitive with Star Citizen aside, I don't want to diminish Frontier's accomplishments here. They've already produced a really impressive and cool game. I am, like I said, an original backer, and I'm excited to get back into it. I am genuinely happy that they are taking this step forward and really excited for the future of ED. It gives me one more game that fits my personal preferences to go explore in that is more than what I have right Right now, and that really cannot be a bad thing. So I'm looking forward to the next dev posts that they make, and if you guys stay tuned and subscribe to this channel, you'll be able to find out about them as they come. As I fully plan to cover the developments of Odyssey up until its release, and then do content on it to share with you what my experience is with its final form. So keep those scanners up and watch out for interceptions, commanders. I hope to see you out there in the Milky Way.